SPAB Board of Directors, December 13th and 14th are our annual meeting dates at Bedford Springs Resort. So today I'd like to review three key issues for that meeting in preparation for that meeting, again December 13th and 14th at Bedford Springs Resort. First of course is the election of officers for the next two years. The election committee will be proposing a slate of officers and you'll be receiving emails in this regard in the month leading up to our meeting. We also have the uh, nomination and vote on a few uh, board of directors positions that are open. So first and foremost, of course, is the election of new officers and leadership for the association for the next two years. Very important issue, issue number two, of course, is the gold medal awardees. I'd like to give you an update on that. Uh, we continue to pursue Bob Saget to receive the PAB gold medal. Um, he is starting a new TV show next year, and we're trying to work out scheduling for him to be able to attend in May. We're very optimistic of that. And the Janet and Lou Klein Making a Difference Award, we uh, have offered to honor Hall & Oates. And they also are finalizing their concert schedule for next year and are trying to work out a, perhaps a Pennsylvania visit in May. So it would be wonderful if we could get Bob Sag and Hall & Oates to lead the uh, slate, if you will. Um, so this is a call for your assistance for nominations for the other uh, awards, which are the Broadcast Hall of Fame and the Broadcasters of the Year. Now remember, our Broadcast Hall of Fame has to be executive management or ownership of radio and television stations, and the Broadcasters of the Year is presented at the annual luncheon where we give out the Broadcast and Excellence Awards. So looking forward to input from all of you and nominations in that regard. The final matter, a uh, major matter for the board meeting uh, in December will be the status of the PAB Educational Fund. So we have purposely taken uh, the fund, if you will, to under $1,000 in its account uh, with the hopes of going dormant, if you will, because uh, educational activities we feel can be handled through our 501c6, our base organization here. And there really isn't the need for the 501c3, which is predominantly for outside fundraising. So you basically have three decision points for the future of educational activities of the PAB. Uh, number one, we did fund the Confer radio program to $10,000 last year. And we began a new PA visiting professorship at the Belisario Communication School at Penn State for $25,000. So I think uh, decision points would be whether to continue those programs. And a final decision point is whether to continue the 2014 uh, regional policy on how we would uh, spend dollars in educational activities. Whether that is needed in the future or not, I think is a, another decision point that's very important for the board to discuss. So, election of officers, the gold medal awardees, and the PAB Education Foundation our three main agenda items for our meeting December 13th and 14th at Bedford Springs Resort. We look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, if Team PAB, Gail Carter and I may be of any assistance to you, please do not hesitate to contact us and we look forward to hearing from you. Ciao for now. Okay, let's warm up a little bit. B A B B I B B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B I B